Productive communication at lightning speed, because that's what it has to be about, right? Time is of the essence, especially with new patients. It seems like we never have enough time to do everything that we want to do with new patients. The goal of the new patient experience is to have the patient move forward with treatment, yes? That's the goal. That's why they come in. Um, and I think sometimes we lose sight of that. Uh, all the action steps that we're taking throughout the, the course of that appointment should be directing them to move forward with treatment. And the new patient interview is a very important part of that step. So let's talk for a minute about our paradigm when we're presenting treatment. There's some things that we have done for years and years and years in dentistry that I think are fundamentally flawed. When we talk about presenting treatment, the old paradigm is telling the patient what to do based on a presumed need, right? We assume they want to save their teeth or fix their teeth or prevent a problem, but we really have never taken the time to ask that specific patient what their goals are. The new paradigm, again, asking the patient what their goals are and helping them find the products or services that help them accomplish these goals um, will help us get the results that we're looking for. Okay, the old paradigm, the way um, that is phrased in the business world is adversarial selling. Presuming that we already know what the patient needs or wants. Okay, and, and really all we've talked about for years in dentistry is what they need, right? We've never really focused on what they want. We've never taken the time to ask. This is exhausting for everybody. It really is. Because we take a lot of time going over what it is they need and then we really haven't gotten to the bottom of what they actually want. And what happens with this paradigm is we don't get the results that we want. We've presented, taken all this time and energy to present this entire treatment plan, 16 separate appointments, we've broken it down, and the patient doesn't even schedule the first one. It's frustrating, yes? It doesn't produce loyal patients that way, either, that way either because we really haven't asked the patient what they want. Okay, the new paradigm is asking first and then listening. What are they saying? What are they asking us for? We've got to identify the potential matches with the patient's goals. And that really is the key. What's the patient asking for? Well, we're going to talk about that. Have you ever had a patient um, leave the practice because they felt like we were selling them something they weren't interested in? We weren't asking. We were just telling in that instance. Okay? It minimizes the time that we waste on blind presentations because we're already presenting stuff that they've given us signals for. All right, what about treatment, you know, when we talk about high-end treatment, selling or recommending high-end services, you know, it's really quite simple. I think we make it much too complicated. The key for that is, again, asking the questions. Because if we are talking about treatment, even high-end treatment, and it's what the patient is asking us about or has already stated that's their goal, then it, they already want it. And it's much easier to present and um, get the patient to accept 10 porcelain veneers when that patient's walking in the door saying, I want veneers. Okay, so asking, taking the time to ask those questions um, and respecting the patient and the clinician's time is actually a lot more effective. Okay, the new patient interview is when we do the asking. That's when we find out what the patient wants. All right, we have to take the time to find out the problems our patients are having, number one, and what they hope to do about them and listen to what they say. We have to ask the questions. And that's something that I see, even like I said, with our upper level members, you know, this is an area that we could really focus on. Asking works, telling doesn't. That's what I found, okay? And we found that to be true in a lot of different areas, not just dentistry. So the time required to make asking the first order of business with a new patient is an excellent investment.